So let's talk uh, Survivor's Remorse. Yes. You are the showrunner and I the am. creator. Um, as a veteran actor and someone who has excelled in front of the camera, how was it different for you stepping into a different role for this series? Well, it's incredible. It's an incredible more amount of work. And I think that the writing part has so much to do with grinding it out and crafting and working and drafting and arguing and thinking and talking to Maverick Carter and talking to LeBron and talking to the other writers and talking to Tom Werner and saying, is this a story that, that makes sense for our show? It's, it's very much of a, sometimes it's a very intellectual endeavor because you're talking about ideas and you're talking about how do we, uh, how do we dramatize these ideas? How do we make it fair so that two different points of view are coming up in equal measure so it doesn't feel like we're proselytizing or mm -hmm. advocating for one thing or the other because then the audience just goes, I don't want to be preached to. Mm -hmm. So all of that is way more of an intensive endeavor uh, and I would say a less joyous endeavor than showing up at work and having material. I've been fortunate enough to be on shows that were really well written and really great and play. And as an actor you're able to, it is, it is hard work, it is craft, you have to know your work, but at the end of the day what you have to do to really do it well is relax mm -hmm. and be present and play. And writing is, and producing is about stress and effort and always questioning whether or not you're getting the right thing and always trying to narrow it down to the essence and trying to realize that you are taking another story and putting it on the massive heap of storytelling that has happened since you know people were painting with you know charcoal on cave walls mm -hmm. and saying what do you have to say that is authentic and applicable for human beings in their lives today. Well, you speak about that, not to cut you off. Um, I stopped after a long <laughs> paragraph. Now, it, I caught up uh, with the end of season two. I watched yes. season one and season two over again last yes. night just to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I do notice, even though the show is about a star basketball player, is that we don't see any basketball. Is that done on purpose or was 100%. that a morph? So 100% it was done on purpose, and I'll tell you why. I don't think... Even the great basketball movies, Hoosiers, Blue Chips, um, you know, I don't think, which had very authentic basketball, or even when you look at a football movie like Any Given Sunday where the mm -hmm. football is really good. I think there's so much televised sports nowadays, and it's so much a part of people's lives, that any rendering of it on television just seems inauthentic. I think I'm not interested, also, given the cast that we have, and, and the budget that we have, and I'm very happy with the budget we have, but, but we, we can't cast a whole basketball team and then have these games in arenas. We're a small half hour show mm -hmm. uh, that shoots every episode in five days. And the storyline of whether or not Cam hits the game winning shot or he misses the game winning shot, okay, there's two stories. What are you telling, what is the story that you're gonna see about, back, look at him, he works really hard, he's working on his free throws, he's working on his layups. It's just uninteresting to me. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, is that, you know, this is a show about a family portrayed by actors. And when you have, when you're seeing people like LeBron James and Clay Thompson and Steph Curry, on your television sets over and over playing at the highest level of basketball, well, any actor is just gonna seem like a, a facsimile and, and, and a less, lesser facsimile of that. True. And so it's just completely gonna take you out of the show. It's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to portray, and we are trying to portray on this show, storylines about an American family. And basketball is the backdrop, but how an American family is alive today in Atlanta Dealing with family issues, is that's something that's universally relatable, and that's the kind of show we're trying to make. Well, you've hit it right on the head. Uh, the show is beautiful. Oh, I you. want to congratulate oh, you I again. I really appreciate Season it. Season three.